how can you support and restore your mitochondria? So shall we start putting these down? Because this is where some of the big wins are. We're going to call this mitochondrial renewal. Let's start at 12 o'clock. Diet. Now, Diet is incredibly important for two reasons, if we look at this. On the one side, it's avoiding the toxins which stress and kill and inflame your mitochondria. And on the other side, it's actually nourishing them with the underlying substrate, fuel, vitamins, minerals that they need to survive. There are things you can choose which challenge your mitochondria, there are things you can choose which champion your mitochondria. Shall we take this over here and let's look at some of the obvious things which challenge and obvious things that champion. So oxidized fats, acrylamides are made when you heat carbohydrates excessively, typically with a protein and a fat. Ages, a byproduct of charring meat, for instance. Excess omega-6 processing, seed oils, a lack of nutrients. We often forget that a lot of processed diets are calorie rich and nutrient poor. So mineral imbalances, foods which are polluted with heavy metals, a lot of sushi and sashimi. Rice is one of the biggest holders of arsenic and heavy metals. Excess plant foods like wheats, barleys, and chickpeas is a classic, which has been covered in glyphosate. These play a massive role in mitochondrial decline. When we look at the champions of them, we're thinking about omega-3 fats, foods which are nutrient dense. We are thinking of things which uh, seal and heal the gut, full spectrum proteins, omega-3s, balanced to omega-6, and even omega-9s, like oleic acid, antioxidant-rich fruits. And yes, I will never get through a presentation without mentioning polyphenols. Polyphenols, I think they're one of my favorites. So, <laughs> and then you might say, why do omega-3s play such an important role? Well, because they help nourishing your cell and your mitochondrial membranes. Kind of important. Things like oil of evening primrose oil can be used to restore your actual cell walls and play a role in mitochondrial membranes. The key is that they're not inflammatory seed oils and they're not oxidized and they're in the right amounts. Mm -hmm.